Good morning. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Excuse me. I did. Don't you Dude, this is all you, VHS player. <laughs> you know what that is? What's that? So I said, that's all you, the VHS player. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I got my own my highlight tapes of the VHS at home. I'm a, I'm okay. a football. I was like, shoot, you may be too young. Yeah, 41. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you look young. Uh, that's good. Thanks. Yeah. You're wearing a mask I, now, I, I, need, I need to transfer them over to DVD. You I can realize build. nowadays that <laughs> some of these kids born in the 2000s, they got no idea what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, my kids don't know nothing about that. Like, I pulled that out to let them watch it one day. They're like, what is that? VHS. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yeah, it is. The main road is Beulah Church. Control say heaven. Hi, right, what up YouTube? Thank you for tuning back into the channel. First, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, I'm a part-time reseller. As you can see by all the footage before this, but uh, I go to thrift stores, estate sales, all that good stuff. Look for stuff below and try to sell a little bit of height. You understand? And if you like stuff like that, subscribe. Straight up. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm into two estate sales. 
today's Friday, so of course this is the higher day. I usually don't buy much. I usually try to look for clothes, old hats, stuff like that because that stuff is usually cheap. It's the other electronics and furniture and stuff that usually cost the most, which I'm not looking for too much furniture. So it's usually the electronics, which I usually go back on Sunday and try to get that for a better deal because your stuff is usually half off on Sunday. So uh, new tip, a quick tip for the new people. Sunday is the best day usually as far as price, but I like to go on Friday if I'm off, stake it out, and then come back Sunday and know exactly what I want if it's still there. So with all that being said, let's get in to what I got from both your sales. All right, state sales. Okay, I spent about $30. Um, let's just get right into it. Uh, got some more hats, man. I got so many hats. I got a list. It's crazy, but... um. Let's just go through it. So I really don't have any comps on this stuff yet. So if I do decide to uh, find a cop as I'm editing this, I'll put it on the screen. Got that Briscoe. Got a Cracker Barrel Old Country Stone head. That looks pretty nice. Uh, a Sea World head. With some scrambled eggs on it. Looks a little dirty, a little old. I can set up see if that's worth anything. Uh, Scott Sharp. All these heads for a dollar. Scott Sharp. Okay, we got the big old tires hat. United States Auto Club hat. A Cincinnati hat. I actually paid two dollars. It's the only one I paid two hundred or two dollars for. It was a Nike hat. Cincinnati Reds. So yeah, so I got those. Uh I thought I got some other ones too. I don't know what happened in here. Hmm. I thought I got another yellow hat like this. That was a black one. I must have left it there. Anyway, um, got this whole box right here for three dollars. Three oh, and they got some older stuff in it. Um, a whole cell phone. Remember these back in the day? Well, people my age probably remember. Them. My age are older. Old Sprint. Look at that right there. No games, no color, no nothing. Just talk, and that's it. <laughs> anyway, came with that. Came with that. And some old cassette players. GE one. Oh, what kind of that is? GE. We got a Awa. What's the model number on this? Oh, TX706. Now I have sold some of these before, so I know I probably sell these both together. That's usually what I do. And I, I probably can get about a $30 piece for both of these. Maybe more than that. I might be shooting myself in the foot, so. We'll see if they work. I know one of them had batteries in it and it was kind of corroded, so I'm gonna have to clean the contacts on it. Um, and this is the charger for the cell phone and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's three dollar box. That might might be pretty good. So I got this camcorder. It's uh, JVC. And what's the model number on it? Oh, AXM230. G-R-A-M, bye bye, you, you heard me. I'll be reading this stuff to myself sometimes because when I watch this back, I might look up the comps and put them on the screen. That's why I'll be doing that. But yeah, anyway, it came with this. It got the charger in there and this bag. And I think these go for about between 75 and $100 as I, if I can remember. I'll put the comp on the screen if I find it. So it might be a good buy, I paid $8 for that. So real quick, I was looking at this camera because I was about to list it. And guess what I pull out? This bad boy right here is about a $30, $40 piece. If you ever find the adapter for the tape cassette or, you know, the tape VCR, whatever it's called. Anyway, if you ever right. find this right here, I always pick it up because these right here go for some good money. I guess these are hard to find. So, um, yeah, I've listed one like this before. The one I had before was brand new in a box and I sold it for like $60 something. dollars. It's crazy what people pay for these. So, um, yeah, this one's used, so I might be able to get at least $30, $40 for this. Crazy. I got a couple plushes. This is a, a, and I've sold this one before. It's a Perfect Pets. And believe it or not, man, this is about a $25, $25, $30 piece right here. Uh, I forget what it does, but I need to open it and see if it got any batteries or whatever. And, but I know the last one I sold as is, and it sold with no problems. I might actually check the batteries on this one and maybe if I can get it doing something, it might go for a little bit more. Uh, I bought some mechanical pencils. These are older ones, these 2001s. I might keep these, who knows. I don't know if they, stuff like that's worth anything or not. Got some Smith Coronas. <laughs> um, 
It's a, um, I don't know. I know this set. I can sell this set for about twenty something dollars, and that's about it. I got a couple other things, but these I have personal. Like I'm gonna give these to my kids. They pens, a pen set, and this right here slid in my bag on accident. So I don't know if it's worth anything. It's just a NASCAR dog. Um, what's that key ring? And an actual handkerchief. I don't know if it's vintage or not. I might look that up. And that's it. Like I said, I usually stake it out on Fridays, get a couple of things, and then Sunday I go back. It's a couple of VCRs I've seen that I might get. Um, and some other electronics that I've seen that the price wasn't there yet, but half off the price will be there. And that stuff usually is there on Sundays. It's not, unless you're a reseller, you usually don't get see too many people getting VCRs and stuff like that in my area anyway. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all be good. Peace. Thank you.